or not make up. So here we go with um, with Leo, Jupiter in the first house. You've got expansion, wealth, good fortune in your life. It's a gift to be experiencing what you're experiencing now. And even if things have been hard, because I know like Saturn at the same time has been in Scorpio squaring your sun, so there's been this energy of like, my gosh, things are so difficult. Oh gosh, I can think of a friend of mine with a, a Leo uh, Aquarius rising. She's having a heck of a time, and I, I can understand it. You know, I mean, these are not easy transits to necessarily deal with. Um, Saturn... Is, your home, is in your home life, you know, the fourth house. And so it may have seemed like it was trying to take some of your, your joy away. Or that, and yet at the same time, we can say we have to look at our personal need for expansion and realize and be honest with ourselves what kind of stress that leaves on our home life. That we want to be better fathers and mothers. But we want to be the kind of elders that our offspring are going to be proud of. And, um, you know, pay attention to health issues. Try to get healthier. Try to change your outlook on your body. It's a little harder in the fall. You go to winter. There's more nighttime. Easier to become more sedentary. But, you know, make an effort to just eat better. And, you know, even just do exercises in your house. Well, greetings, Virgo, and welcome to your horoscope. Okay, so Virgo thing. Virgo, right now, Scorpio is symbolic of your third house. I mean, it, it's, enter, it's part in your third house. And so third house is about communication. It's about the environment. It's about having a way of communicating information that's fun. It's interesting whether you're a songwriter or just a, a regular keyboard writer, guitar player, masseuse,